What is up, YouTube? Hellspawn here. And due to uh, popular demand, I am uh, going to do a review. It's not that I don't uh, love you guys, and it's not that I don't miss you guys. It's just that, uh, I don't know. It's uh, not, not being around on YouTube and not giving a fuck and just kind of doing my thing and everything has been quite enjoyable. But... Uh, you know, I guess it's time. But, anyways, uh, this one has been raising a lot of stink. And if you guys don't know what it is already, this is the one-quarter scale, 18-inch tall NECA Mark Seven Iron Man from Avengers. Now, these are just shipping. And the funny thing is, is that when these things first went on pre-order, I missed it. Now, I went to Big Bad Toy Store, I went to Entertainment Earth, I went to this and that and blah, 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 and tried to find this guy anywhere for the original price of around $90 to $100 and just couldn't do it. Uh, and the eBay scalpers were out in force at $150, $200, and even $250 for these guys. And uh, a couple days ago, actually, about five or six days ago, uh, I was sitting there looking at my phone, and on Facebook, NECA posted on their Facebook page that they were actually going to have a few of these for, up for sale on their eBay uh, page. So I jumped on it real quick. I ended up getting one. I think one other person got one, and then some guy came in and bought all the others that they had. Uh, so in total, only about three people got one from their uh eBay, but I did, and I also got mine before most of the people that have had these things pre-ordered for months, because I do have a couple friends that have ordered from Big Bad Toy Store, and theirs aren't due to arrive until sometime next week. Um, all I can say is, damn, this figure is awesome. It, I mean, I took this guy out last night and, uh, and looked at him and everything just to kind of give him the once over, but this thing is great. This thing is amazing. This thing, I, I'd have to say... <laughs> even is on the same quality as the as the predators i mean it is it is awesome uh the paint quality is fantastic the sculpt is just perfect and you know you know find reserve me a spot in hell for saying this but if 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 neca could keep this up i don't think i'm gonna buy hot toys anymore i mean honestly it's it's it is that good. I mean, and the articulation is just ridiculous. I mean, the toes articulate. Not only do the toes and the ankles articulate, but all these little armor pieces here, you know, they, they have little armor pieces that move as he moves, uh, you know, on the back and on here. Uh, the knees are double-jointed. The, the thighs have a ball swivel in them. The hips have a ball swivel in them. The, there's some articulation here and at the chest. Ball joints and shoulders, movable armor plates on the shoulders, double jointed elbows, uh, ball joints in the hands, which the open palms light up, the closed palms don't, uh, and then full ball joint articulation of the head up on the shoulders. Um, I mean, good God. The, the Hot Toys, you know, you they look great, of course. Uh, you pay out the ass for them. And half of the funny, cool shit that they do, like armor plates opening up and little weapons that pop out you don't even you do it one time when you first take it out of the box and then when you put it on your glass shelf you never touch it again not to mention they're this tall so if i can spend a third of the money get damn near the same quality light up features throughout the figure with great paint applications and make it eight inches taller or you know six inches taller than the hot toys version why the hell would i want to buy the hot toys version um I, I mean, the one thing that Hot Toys has going for it that NECA doesn't is that Hot Toys pumps out so much, albeit every single thing that they put out lately is late by months and months and months. That's a great uh, how do you do to your customers. Give us your money and we're going to fucking make you wait. Great. Uh, but anyways, uh, it, it, if, if they were to put out the Mark 7, the Mark 6, the Mark 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 42, the Heartbreakers, War Machine, blah, 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 I would never buy Hot Toys again. If they were to put out the, the, the variances of the armors and of the, uh, you know, of different characters and things like that, if they were to basically expand their, their amount of characters and which characters they put out, I would never have to buy Hot Toys again, especially if they did every single Predator. If they, you know, they've already, they're, they're damn near on the way to doing it. You know, City Hunter, 
Uh, they got the Warrior Predator. They got the, the, the Jungle Hunter Predator. We got Big Red coming out in 18-inch. We've got uh, um, the Elder Predator coming out in 18-inch. If you keep doing these Predators, NECA, I will cease buying Hot Toys, especially if you guys do the AVP Predators, the Wolf Predator, and things like that. But back to the thing that we're here to talk about. This guy is just incredible. I mean, even without the light of feature on, the arc reactor looks fantastic. The head sculpt is spot on. You know, the paint's perfect. All the armor lines, everything looks phenomenal. Even when you get in here, you know, to the knees and stuff, like like if you look at them up in here, even all these little details are all painted black in here, back on the back of the knees. They even detailed the joints on the back of the knees so that it doesn't even look like a joint. It actually looks like part of the armor. Uh, you, you really can't see any joints on this guy. I mean, obviously, we as collectors know, hey, there's a joint here. Hey, there's a joint here. But, like, when you look at him, he's very, very, very seamless. There's not a lot of, of extra going on. There's not a lot of, like, oh, that's a joint, you know. Uh, it, 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 it looks really, really good from the front, from the back, from the side. I mean, just everything about this guy is fantastic. He even has, like, the opening arm, uh, flaps back here. Uh, you can open these up. And then uh, these open all the way, and then these flaps actually open up on the top. And then the same thing on the other side, and then that opens up there. And these are all on little hinges, and then that opens up. And then these two big flaps here and here open up as well. So when you look at him, I mean, he's just, he's just awesome, man. Really, 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 really cool. I like how they did it. Um, and the shoulder armor is actually on... Uh, uh, little little hinges basically on the actual arm there's a there's a bar and then on this armor plate there's a swiveling clip and the clip clips onto that bar on both shoulders so you can kind of position the armor and move it around um, I have noticed when you start to push these to the extreme inside like if you try to push them this way they don't want to clip on as easily so you kind of have to leave them sticking out just a little bit uh, which gives you a little bit of a gap right here, but you can see how it kind of moves around. So you can definitely position those things to uh, to work the way that you want them to. Um, he does have light up features on on the back here. Uh, we'll, we'll do his hands first. The other side's not going to light up because I put the alternate hands. It comes with two fists and two open palms. The open palms do light up, uh, and the switch is right right here. So as you can see, the open palms do light up. Um, in the movie, I do believe that his arc or his uh, repulsor whatevers were supposed to be blue. These light up yellow, orange, you know, as you can see. And, um, you know, it doesn't really bother me too much. I mean, uh, chances are you're not going to have the light up features on all the time anyways. A lot of people pose them with the non-light up uh, closed palms. Um, but yeah, I mean, it lights up orange. I don't understand why they went with that. I don't understand why they couldn't have made it look like the eyes or the chest, which are actually the two most important ones that we really care about, and they did get those perfect. As you can see, if you flip on the chest here, it lights up nice and blue, and with the plastic that they have in there for the arc reactor, it looks really good. And uh, last but not least, the eyes light up as well. Holy crap, man, this thing is awesome. I just, you know, it's just one of those things where it's like you get them and you're like, you know it's going to be good, but you don't know how good it's going to be. I was afraid about paint issues and things because, you know, like like this is, you know, the kind of plastic that it's not hard plastic. This stuff actually bends kind of like the plastic down here on the ends of his feet and right here on the back of his hands. And you're always worried about, okay, you know, how are all the colors going to mesh together? How, is it going to look good? Are the lines going to be straight? And yes, 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 yes. Everything about this is perfect. Go out and get one of these things right now. If you don't have one of these in your collection and you're an Iron Man fan, something's wrong with you. Um, uh, cancel your Hot Toys order and buy one of these, two of these, and then battle damage one, whatever you got to do. Um, but to, to make sure you get one of these things, man. Um, you may still be able to hunt them down for a decent price. Um, I wouldn't pay more than a hundred bucks for it. Uh, the MSRP on these is $89.99. I'm sure local comic shops will be getting them. I don't know if Toys R Us is going to be getting them. I don't know if Toys R Us is going to have them on their website, in the stores, or both, or neither. 
Um, but don't try not to pay the scalper prices of 200, 175, 250 bucks. Um, kind of hold out, see if you can get one for a decent deal. Um, I think the more that these things ship and get out to people, I think you'll see the prices drop. Right now, everybody's just kind of like, gimme, 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 you know, and the few people that have them are getting, you know, crazy ass money for them because people are impatient. Be patient, you'll see the prices go down. Uh, and then when you do get the opportunity, though, snag this guy up and uh, you will not be disappointed. He is absolutely awesome. Super happy to have him. Super happy to be able to share him with you guys. And, uh, you know, really happy to be back and, you know, be able to, you know, get back in the stream of things with y'all. Hopefully you guys like this dude. Hopefully you guys like this review. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, if you want to stay in touch with me off of YouTube, look me up on Facebook under Hellspawn Collectibles, two words. And uh, I'd be happy to add you as a friend. Uh, I do post pictures of a lot of the